The Warner's logo is like a coked out stick figure dream. Ever have one of those where everyone's a stick figure and they're all smoking cigarettes and you're wearing a football helmet stressing about the inevitable fire? Me neither, more party humor. High fashion, I barely know where to begin. The big hair, the princess plunging neckline, the choker jewelry, and that's just my costume. I heard you miss me? Well, I'm back, and I'm not alone. Yours truly, Diamond David Lee Roth. And so the adventure begins. Time to join There's us. a menu up there, barely visible, and you can barely see it. It's a veritable wheel of gastro turbulence featuring extraordinary samples of nutritionally bereft fare, so greasy and so good, you want to hop the counter and just punch the fucking cook in the face. Shazam! <laughs> Everybody take your positions, please. Positions. Here we go. Counting Six, down. five, Counting down. four, three, Dave? two, Somebody want to wake up, Dave? rolling, rolling. Dave! Whoa, what's up with the flathead blow dry? I look like Frank and Lee Stein. I'm so fucking adorable I can barely stand myself. Hey, another spectacularly captivating world premiere video. You can't take your eyes off of it. And you can only see it here, live on Dave TV. In the 80s, big hair was how the male signaled to the female that they could afford unlimited quaaludes. Don't ask, Mom will explain later. Cut it! Cut it. Thank you, Dave. Ah, Dave, forget about it. Just to get a show like that. I'm I don't know. Oh, what can I say, Mr. Roth? Isn't he great? David, you've got charisma. Huh? I'm great, Dave. David, my kids would simply kill me if you're going to sign a good thing for them. Forget about it, Dave. <laughs> the suit that I'm wearing at the desk, the giraffe called. He wants it back. Now, if I could do a video, the crowd would love me. Hey, you in the red. Yeah, you. There you go. Nah, I wouldn't do it like that at all. I'd do it just like this. I love these shoes. A pair of custom magic carpet rides in a perfect size mine. I've been around the world and across the seven seas in these kicks and sometimes against my will. An inherent problem of magic carpet shoes. As wardrobe goes, sartorial choices like these don't just happen, they're cultivated. Slowly and meticulously over many, many cocktails, cocktails of all formats and all types of glasses, use your imagination. Bop, boozy, boozy, bop, city bop.
watched these and thought, wow, I was into that fashion or style or whatever you called it. And then I thought, wow, I launched that fucking style. On the other hand, I had nothing to do whatsoever with muffin top mall fatties and belly shirts and jeggings. This is the look that got me the Renaissance Fair gig. changing the channel we're on every other station too so you might as well stick on this one this is Dave TV all Dave all night people ask me Dave what's it like to wake up in the morning and know that this is the first thing that I gotta do I don't wake up I had a thing for the girl next door and these two must have lived next door to someone I was their father's worst nightmare and as far as waking up here I just didn't bother to go to bed where are we going? We're I, going miniature ghosting after this, you told me. That is right, okay. Abdel, that is right. I don't but want he's, to speaking, he's speaking more like euphemistically. He's speaking more like fizz philosophically. I'm sorry, he's new. Fizz philosophically, or whatever it was. Maybe I should have slept before I got there to the set. That was a mashup of physically, philosophically, philosophically, and Philadelphia. Any worryation beyond that would be undue worryation about the nature of our semantics. You're not anti-semantic, are you? And, and as far as where we're going, I have some bad news and I have some good news. And the bad news is we have lost our way. But the good news is we're way ahead of schedule. Submitted for your approval. A busload of tourists on a road the travel agent never told them about. A road leading to the shadowy tip of nowhere. To the land of the different, the bizarre, the unexplainable. They thought they were headed for fun in the sun. Not quite. Obviously, I was the Marilyn Munster of this family. These visitors are trying to go home again. But where they're headed is another dimension entirely. One of wonder and imagination. Fasten your seatbelts. Signpost up ahead. As they take a turn into the sunlight zone. This was a great little beach. It's gone now, or maybe it never or existed in the first place. I can't remember the curse of the 80s strikes again. They had to close that beach, I understand, because for years after we wrapped, weirdos and immigrants kept washing up on the shore.
I still have those pants. I kept them because even though proof exists that I wore them, I knew that 30 years later I wouldn't believe that I wore them. The northern girls that may have kept their boyfriends warm, well, it wasn't because of their small hips. These two were a load and a half. As kids, we'd have called them Crisco, and that was just code that they were kind of fat in the can. There's one thing I've learned in my video career, it's leave the leg to the ladies. Having them all be California girls would have its downsides. For example, if you live here, it's way easier to lose the phone numbers of the non-California girls. Another downside would be that you can certainly take a girl out of an Ohio house of pies, but can you really take the house of pies out of the girl? And is that something you'd really want to see on a beach? And by far, the most serious downside would be that if they're all California girls, then they will all eventually be on the wrong side of all California men. Or as my last girlfriend put it, No! I mean it! Get the fuck out, you fucking fuck! For you, the viewer, this is the end of the video. But for them, this is only the beginning. We are very definitely live in front of your naked, steaming eyes and ears. Direct from Hollywood after six months of no work, I'm yours truly, David Lee Roth. The world according to Dave. The girls were right out of Rockstar Central casting. I met them late one night on the sidewalk in front of the Hollywood Hyatt on Sunset. What caught my eye was how deftly those hot, muscular girl legs dodged the TV falling out of my window. What can I say? There were no Funyuns in my mini bar. Well, the people who do all of our videos are the fabulous Picasso brothers. That's yours truly and my ace pal, Pete Picasso. Uh, he's, he's Mr. Picasso you've seen in some of the previous videos. He's in Yankee Rose. He's the one with the two gals. Uh, Mr. Picasso was in Gigolo. Um, and we, we call ourselves the fabulous Picasso brothers because Picasso suggests fine art, you know? And brothers makes it sound more like pizza delivery. Forget about it, Dave. The Fabulous Picasso Brothers, in fact, have changed the face of video and filmed them as we know it permanently and forever, and that's not an easy thing to do on a monthly basis. What qualities do you look for in a woman, Abdel? I'm sorry, I, but I should tell you the salami is here. I don't... <laughs> <laughs> well... <laughs> I'm trying to help. Actually, in, in all seriousness, People always talk about censorship and like that, and the basic tenet of the United States. The 80s for the ladies were the days of petite little bottoms, petite derrieres. Well, these are the days of incredibly overwhelming asses. Nicki Minaj, Kim K, Mitt Romney. But we don't live there. We live here. So it's like, we want to do what we want, man. And it's a censorship, you got to figure, who's going to censor for us? Who's go who out there is going to decide what we're gonna watch and what we're capable of perceiving, you know what I'm saying? You wanna think of it even tougher terms? There are a lot of you out there who don't like me at all. What if I was the one doing the censoring? I can't believe it, okay? It's my honeymoon night, okay? I will probably only have three or four more of these in my whole entire lifetime. And you, you check me into that.
that dump your brother calls a motel. But Consuelo, I gave him two dollars extra for the fantasy suite. Too bad, honey, too bad. I will not sleep there. So tonight, you will have to fantasize that you have a wife, okay? Uh, Consuelo, mi amor, mi amor, Consuelo. Can I help you? Ooh, breath mint. Our lips are so close. Ooh, Not if you was the last immigrant grocer on earth, honey. Son of a brisky, my ancestors spit on your haircut. In my store, you don't. Ooh, 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 my friend. I always hang out with two of them because it's better for conversation. See if there winds up being any. I don't have to be involved. Forget about it. Ooh, ooh. It's humid in here tonight, isn't it, girls? Give me a bottle of anything and a glazed donut to go. go, go, go. I've often wondered if I would have been the same Diamond David Lee Roth if my wardrobe choices had been different. And you know what? The answer's fuck yes. I would have been the same Diamond David Lee Roth if I dressed like Harry fucking Potter. And not to know for whom the ass shakes. It shakes for thee. A lot of you may think this looks like air humping, but I'm actually balls deep in the matrix. It's Once again, Roth ass. I don't know if I shook my ass for someone or at someone. Maybe it just felt good. Say hello to my imaginary friend with benefits. I shook it like that the other day, and it took three Advil, two boiler makers, and a couple of Estonian stewardesses I met on the plane the night before to get me up off the floor. Apparently, my imaginary friend is named Cinnamon. Ah, she's beautiful, all right. Mm, nothing like her in the whole world. Yeah. She's right on time. I'm on the case. Pick up the phone. No time to waste. She got the beat. 99% of all the people on Earth will not have as much on-camera FaceTime during their entire lives as my dick got in five years.
I'm actually in better shape now than I was then, and I can do a lot of those moves fast enough now to start a fucking windmill. I just thinking, I don't know if you're aware, but some of those maneuvers you do on stage, highly suggestive. Well, they are done by professionals under professional supervision on Bill, and I don't recommend them for home use. The performance that you saw in Yankee Rose, the lighting, the stage production. Uh, what I love about Irv's is the motif, very American, very red, white, and Irv. On the other hand, stick me in front of the joint and your mind jumps from Uncle Irv wants you to the Christmas lights around the license plate of your cleaning lady's son's car. Ooh, it looks like Melrose Boulevard at midnight on a muggy night. Sheehan is the kind of bass player you're not you don't know exactly what it is you're listening to on the record until you put the Walkman on or until you stick your head in between the speakers because you know initially it sounds like oh that's all the guitars you know like that but it's not it's the bass and Billy was uh, opening up for the old act maybe five years ago and uh, God he was so good we had to fire him but I kept his phone number <laughs> world-renowned Greg Bissonette. Pound, the Prince of Pound, the King of Heavy Artillery. Rhythm section is all important in rock and roll. If you ain't got no rhythm, if you ain't got the beat, it's all for lost. What do you think? He sold me a watch, too. <laughs> <laughs> Steve Vai and I met in the day room of the Hollywood Police Department. Sometimes, just to watch the smile on someone's face morph into a wince, I say that the girls were actually my sisters. It also really pissed off my sisters, which, regardless of my age, never gets old. They're probably both living happily ever after in a red state somewhere. Not, you know, together necessarily. Maybe together, but I'm not sure how hot that is at this age. What do 50-something uh, lesbians do together? go to the periodontist, do they get high and go feed feral cats? One feeds them and the other one uses a strap on. <laughs> Your kids aren't listening to this, are they? time in driving school than you did in high school. Uh, what do you know about high school except that you were voted most likely to explode? Oh, sure, Mr. Honor student. Yes, Your Honor. No, Your Honor. No contest, Your Honor. Nice tie, Your Honor. <laughs> hey, 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 hey! Oh, not again. Hey. Don't forget to lock it! No! <laughs> Don't forget to lock it! No! No! <laughs> hey, I need some change for the meter! Hey, where you going? Ah! Nice <laughs> What do you want? Excuse the personal question, but aren't there some places you can't quite reach with a washcloth? Get out! Hey, Mr. Picasso, you look great. You lose some weight. No, I gained 80 pounds! Man, no fooling. Where are you hiding it? Hey, you got some advice for my girls? Oh, yeah. Try the quad burger over at Earth! <laughs> Uh, come on, will you? The band is in there. We're gonna sit here till you grow three more chins, or you gonna tell them what you want? All right, all right, I'll do it. Gentlemen, I'll have a turkey on rye with Swiss. Throw in the rest of the turkey and a bucket of tofu. Come on, will you? We're gonna eat in three minutes and seven seconds. 
You think you can make it? No. They say clothes make the man. These certainly made me. They made me a 100% authentic, organic, not tested on animals. Prices may vary. Leave it to beaver, motherfucker, homegrown, made in America, rock star. Say what you will about my clothes, but they do say rock star. And yours? Well, here I'm rolling down another I'm not sure all guys in the 20s shook their junk around. I'm also not sure all monkeys of certain ages throw their shit at the zoo glass either. Spandex was classified as an organic alternative to leather. It also framed Babe's tushes to a fair thee well. Things change. What was spandex are now bib overalls sometimes. Wild hair is now a little shorter. And what were magic shoes are now weather-resistant, muck-lucking shit kickers that don't have a creamy magic carpet right center anymore because no one fucking carries them. On a personal note, I feel fairly confident saying that these were some of the best times in my life, not the times on stage that my dad most envied about me. These were probably the moments everyone else's dad envied most about my life. And looking back now, even I envy me some of these memories. So what'd you think? I can't think! I'm dancing! <laughs> you think ours is still open? Uh. Hey, Diamond David Lee Roth here in the clock on the clubhouse wall says it's the end of the video. I don't want to say Irv's was on the funky side, but if you needed it, there's probably still some John Belushi DNA under the toilet lid. <laughs> See you on the next cassette, and whatever you do, don't forget... Eat him and smile! So, in conclusion, what have we learned today? First, bear humping and pants with holes big enough to drive trucks through can both be a little wince inducing 30 years later. But we also learned that I'm partial to Estonian nurses and it's probably that rigid Soviet training. Finally, we learned that if we ever go looking for our heart's desire again, we won't have to look any further than our own backyard because if it isn't there, then we really never lost it to begin with. Isn't that right? Fuck no, that's not right. What we learned, finally, is that good rock and roll has long legs that go on for fucking ever, no matter how dated the rest of it may look like. Thanks for dropping by, and may the odds forever be in your favor.